The shrine of Hazrat Ali in Mazari Sharif, Afghanistan, is a sight to behold. This sacred site, steeped in history and spirituality, draws visitors from all corners of the world. Two azure domes, like giant sapphires, pierce the sky. Their vibrant blue hue stands in stark contrast to the arid landscape, creating a mesmerizing visual. They shimmer under the Afghan sun, a beacon visible for miles across the dusty plains. The sunlight dances on the domes, making them appear almost ethereal. The domes, intricately tiled and etched, are a testament to enduring faith and artistry. Each tile tells a story, a piece of the rich tapestry of Afghan culture and devotion. They speak of centuries of devotion, whispering tales of pilgrims and emperors. The shrine has witnessed countless prayers, hopes and dreams over the ages. The shrine complex, an oasis of peace in a sometimes turbulent land, invites contemplation and reflection. It offers a serene escape from the chaos of daily life. Courtyards adorned with intricate tilework lead to the heart of the shrine. These pathways are not just physical routes but spiritual journeys for the faithful. The air hums with the murmur of prayers and the scent of incense. The atmosphere is thick with reverence, a palpable sense of the divine. Time seems to slow within the shrine's walls, offering a sanctuary from the outside world. Here, one can find solace and a moment of introspection. The blue domes are more than just architectural marvels. They symbolize the heavens, a connection between the earthly and the divine. They represent the soul of a people, their unwavering belief and their connection to a sacred past. The domes are a beacon of hope and faith for the community. For the faithful, the sight of the domes evokes a sense of awe and reverence. It is a moment of spiritual awakening, a reminder of their deep-rooted beliefs. It is a tangible link to a revered figure, a reminder of the enduring power of faith. The shrine stands as a symbol of resilience and devotion. The shrine stands as a testament to the enduring power of faith. Its walls have witnessed countless acts of devotion and love. It is a place where hope and history intertwine, a beacon of peace in a land often marked by conflict. The shrine offers a glimpse into the enduring spirit of its people. The twin blue domes, reaching towards the heavens, offer a glimpse into the heart of Afghanistan's spiritual soul. They stand as a symbol of the nation's rich heritage and unwavering faith. The shrine of Hazrat Ali holds deep significance for Muslims, particularly those of the Shia faith. It is a place where history, spirituality and devotion converge. Hazrat Ali, the cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad, is a revered figure in Islam. His life and teachings continue to inspire millions. For Shias, he is considered the rightful successor to the Prophet, a leader whose wisdom and courage are celebrated. The shrine Believed to house his tomb is therefore a site of immense religious importance. It stands as a testament to his enduring legacy. Access to the inner sanctum of the shrine is restricted to Muslims, preserving the sanctity of the sacred space. Non-Muslims, while allowed to enter the complex, are not permitted inside the tomb itself. This ensures the shrine remains a place of undisturbed worship. This restriction highlights the sanctity of the site for the faithful, a place where their spiritual journey is deeply personal. It is a place where they feel a direct connection to their faith and their history, a bridge between the earthly and the divine. The shrine of Hazrat Ali stands as a powerful symbol of faith and devotion, its twin blue domes, a beacon for the faithful. It is a place where pilgrims seek solace, connection, and a deeper understanding of their beliefs. The reading of religious texts deepens their spiritual experience. The shrine's enduring significance lies in its ability to connect the faithful to their past, present and future. It is a living testament to their enduring faith. The story of how Hazrat Ali's remains came to rest in Mazari Sharif is shrouded in legend and mystery, captivating the imagination of many. The Afghan narrative differs from other accounts, adding a layer of local intrigue to the shrine's history making it a unique tale among the many stories of Ali's final resting place. According to local lore, Ali did not die in Najaf, Iraq, as commonly believed by many across the Islamic world. Instead, his followers, fearing desecration of his body by his enemies, brought his remains to Mazar-e-Sharif, a place they deemed safer and more sacred. The journey was fraught with danger, a clandestine mission to protect the sanctity of their beloved leader, Hazrat Ali.
The caravan carrying Ali's body traveled under the cover of darkness, their route a closely guarded secret known only to a trusted few. They arrived in what is now Mazari Sharif, finding a suitable resting place for the revered figure, ensuring his peace and sanctity. Ali's tomb remained hidden for centuries, known only to a select few who passed down the secret through generations, preserving the sanctity of the site. It was not until the 12th century that the tomb was rediscovered, its location revealed in a dream to a devout follower. The revelation sparked a wave of devotion, turning Mazari Sharif into a major pilgrimage site, attracting believers from far and wide. The Afghan tale of Ali's burial, while debated by historians, is deeply ingrained in local belief. Adding to the rich tapestry of Afghan culture, it adds a layer of mystique to the shrine of Hazrat Ali, solidifying its status as a sacred and historical landmark revered by many.